Hello viewers, I've got Cecily Courtney and um, Cecily Courtney and Jack Fulbert. That was her husband. Right, her husband. And this is about recording about uh, approximately about 1910. And what's and, it called, a clown? And it is, it's Clown in Clover. About 1910, viewers. Clown in Clover. Clown in Clover, about 1910. Okay. And how much we go? It's an early double sided record. Early double sided record from about 1910, and you enjoy this viewers. And I'm going to play this on my 1906 machine when I can find the middle of it. There we are. I don't know what happened to that. There we are. And I'm going to play this on my 1906 machine viewers. And um, here we go, Clothing Clover, part one and two. Oh yeah, you've got a headache? Oh, a bit of one, that's all. Yeah, she has a bit of a headache every day. Be a good thing if you had a whole one once a week. What I want is my tea. Well, a little bit of sugar before you sit down. Ah, why didn't you tell me before? All right. Now, wait a minute. I wonder where that bit is about Bert Green. 
Oh, here we are. Now listen to this. I'll read you this. And for part two. Listen to this. I saw you bicycling down Harmitage Road last night at Bird Green. And if I thought you was doing it for anything but love of the sport. Oh, oh Mr. Music, in the love of the sport. <laughs> I will go home with your life forever and leave you to his tender mercy. Do not laugh. <laughs> Excuse me. Do not laugh at me for being jealous, dearest Clara. But it is because I worship you so that I cannot bear to think of anybody so much as touching your pure loveliness. Blimey, did I write that? <laughs> I must say you wrote very prettily, Henry. And what are you come to think of that, Henry? Most likely got it out of a book. <laughs> now I come to think of it, I did get it out of a book. It was a book called Letter Writing, made easy. I was looking up the section on how to apply for a job. There was also a bit about how to write love letters and answer invitations to dine with the Lord Mayor and all them sort of eye knobs. Well, I suppose you got this out of the book, too. I can see you now, your hair kissed by the moonbeam. Ah, oh, you'd done your hair different in those days. I wish you wouldn't keep interrupting. It wasn't so I. When I close my eyes, I can still feel my arms about your slender form. You were so sweet and trusting, last night, dear, that I shall never forgive myself if I frighten you when I... Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute till I turn over the page. Wait a minute. When I hold you so close, but the passion I feel for you, dearest, is sometimes stronger than I am. And even while I am writing this, I know I should do the same again. Hence, you dear. Yeah. Seems extraordinary to think that was you and me, don't it? Like talking about a couple of strangers, eh? Well, we were strangers in that day, Henry. I suppose that's why we thought so much of each other. How's your headache, Henry? Oh, it's better. Oh, good. Yes. I'm not at all sure. I don't feel up to, uh... Up to what, Henry? Uh, well, uh... Checking over them ledgers. I shut up the shop, Mr. Pullen. Yes, I'll, uh... Just go and get them ledgers before you turn the lights out, see? It's a nice night, Mrs. Pullen. Rain's get off nicer now. Oh, Andy. That's nice moonlight night it is now. Moonlight? It always brings to my mind something what someone once wrote to me. What was that? Oh, I didn't know to tell you, I don't think. Well, go on, Mrs. Pullen. I'd like to hear. Well, someone once wrote to me. I can see you now. Your air kissed by the moonbeams. Oh, the moonbeams gets all the luck. <laughs> What? Really? I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Pullen, that slipped out. I think I'd better be going. Mr. Padge, did you really mean what you said just now about the pictures? Yes. I, I think I would like to come along for a bit. Would you really? Yes, but I think it'd be better if you went on and I joined you there. Why, right, Mrs. Pullen, I'll wait for you in the entrance hall, see? All right. Yeah. Uh, good night, Mr. Padge. Good night, Mrs. Pullen. I, uh... Anyway, I think I'll pop along and see Mrs. Barney for an hour. Yeah, right, yeah. I'll definitely be back about ten. Yeah, ain't you going to lock up these letters? No, you can have a good read of them while I'm gone. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir, that's my baby. No, sir, I don't mean to. <laughs> An air kissed by the moonbeams. Hello, Agnes. Come back to clear away, have you? Yeah. You can leave them things. Uh-huh. It's your night out, ain't it? Yes, but the missus said I wasn't going to Never mind come. about what she said. You go put your hat on. You're coming out to the pictures with me, see? Ha, 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 ha.